the, the challenge that this national team has now uh, is how we work with the WPS and how uh, we go from playing the WPS season in their games and, and making them work so that the national team become, can become better. Uh, that is the challenge, and there is no perfect solution at this point. We're going to try a few different things this season to see what's going to work, work best for 2011, uh, that obviously being the, the World Cup year and being really important. The more games, the better players we're going to be. The more players are going to be in the, in the mix. I think it just deepens our pool, makes it a little bit more difficult to make the roster, uh, but it also holds us a little bit more accountable in the end. Well, the New Year Younger players, they bring um, an energy, um, it's exciting to see what, what the future is for this team. It makes me feel a little bit better as I age year by year that this team will in fact still be uh, the greatest and uh, leaving it in good hands for sure. Leadership is an interesting quality that um, Pia obviously kind of redefines almost every camp because every camp roster is different and caps per player is going to be different. Um, but I think leadership has taken a different role from the 91ers group to, to what we have now in the present, in the present team. Um, I think everybody has a share in their leadership. I don't think that one person on this team is the, the consistent player that you know, we go to for inspiration. I think that every game poses for a different op obstacle and challenge for one person to rise to the challenge. I really think that it's important that this whole team feels like they're a part of it. And, I mean, I draw inspiration from, uh, you know, Tobin. I draw inspiration from Cheney and A-Rod in moments, and they're young, young players who may not know that they're, they're in fact, leading, but it, it really is what kind of brings the, the whole thing full circle and, and makes us work well together. As a leader, I think that uh, I try to bring some sort of consistency. Um, I know that it's, it's hard because I score goals and I'm a forward and most quote unquote leaders are generally center backs and midfielders, but I'm definitely very vocal. I think that's something that our team can actually work on is uh, our ability to, to, to talk and to, to be vocal with each other on the field. Uh, I guess the biggest ways that I've changed is, I mean, back then I was so nervous all the time. I was happy to be sitting on the bench and just on the team, you know, um, and at this point, I'm at the stage of my career where, you know, if I don't score a goal in a game, I'm a little disappointed, even if we have won the game. You know, obviously it's a team sport and winning is the most important thing, but as a professional, I have a job. And if I don't do my job, I feel like I failed. So, I don't know, I think that the growth has like ebbed and flowed in moments and during times. Um, you know, my leg break was a really interesting time in my life and I grew a lot as a person and, and as a professional and I think um, you can only learn good things from, from tough times like that, but at the end of the day, I want to be on the field and I want to play. Um, I don't know. I love this game, so. You know, it's taken me a long time to emotionally give myself back to the, the game. Uh, after my leg break, I felt a little betrayed. I know it sounds really weird, but I do feel like all of us have a certain level of a love affair with this game. When it does something so drastic and change the way that you kind of live your life for a pretty long time. I mean, over a year it changed my life. And obviously I missed, missed out on the Olympics and winning a gold medal again. Um, there's a certain level of trust that you have to earn back. And this game has given me so much and I'm so appreciative of it. But on like an emotional level, it's been tough for me to, to really fully get myself back into the, the player that I used to be, you know, going into tackles with, with no regard of my body. Um, so emotionally, I definitely think that I've been affected. Um, and physically, I'm at 100%. You know, I'm playing, I'm playing well and I'm playing strong, but I think that the last piece is a little, a little bit slow to come back to me. Um, and I can't believe I'm actually even saying this out loud on camera, but it's the truth. You know, I, I, I love this game so much and I appreciate it and I respect it. And it just has taken me a pretty long while to, to get back what I, I once had. I feel passionate about it. Um, I would probably explain that feeling as heartbreak. 
you know? I, I guess I'm slow to get over stuff, and I'm stubborn. Um, but, you know, dealing with that, you just got to live, and you just got to get over it at some point, you know? But at the end of the day, you got you to deal with what you're given. And um, it's just taken me a pretty long while to, to figure that out. Uh, because going into a tackle, I don't want to be thinking about that moment when I broke my leg, ever. You know, and it still crosses my mind during moments during the game. So I want it to be completely behind me. Um, you know, that's a goal of mine for this next, you know, six months or so to give myself back to the game. Mm -hmm.